Hello to everybody. In this tutorial, I'm going to present you how to install uh, Gano Uplot and how to use it uh, in uh, NS2 to plot your output files. So, it is a six step manual. First of all, you should be sure that your uh, operating system is up to date. You should run the command in the step one sudo up get install and uh, try to update all of these packages. Keep your time to write it down. So afterwards, if uh, after you're going to update your system, uh, go to the uh, sourceforge.net uh, and uh, download the GNU plot version that you like to use. You have to untar it and uh, you're doing this with the command uh, described in step 3 after you're going to enter it um, with help of the terminal of course you have to enter in the gun upload folder to type configure and to sudo make install it is easy and we have done this and um, now I'm going to present you how to use it. I'm not going to lose time because this is uh, these are a few basic commands in the in the ter terminal. So you should go in the in the TCL script that you're using. For example, in this case, I'm using the X1. Uh, just to find it, yes, it's here. So what I do, uh, you should in the finish procedure you should define these lines in order to plot it automatically I'm going to show you how to plot the CVND value and the throughput value that we have uh, calculated previously with help of the um, uh, throughput dot uh, pola script and with um, commands that uh, are sampling the congestion window so uh, you're uh, setting plot. You open your opening file where to where to store the information. You're putting uh, X level um, name. You're putting name of the Y label. You're putting output name. So you could define it like this. You're defining the postscript to be the file to be in the format dot. Uh, APAS, uh, and um, you are writing the name of the file that you want to plot. After when you are closing the plot uh, and you executing the gonna plot uh, in this case name file as um, plotter.out. It is similar. I'm going to use it to mm, plot the throughput that is obtained in this scenario. I'm going to name the X level uh, time. I'm going to name the Y X with um, bytes per seconds. I'm going to name the output file like uh, thp.depasa. I'll uh, plot the throughput one file with lines, and I'll execute the plot. After I'm uh, after I'm going to. Uh, update the finish procedure and finish procedure I'm going to save the file next in the terminal you have to execute it and you'll see what we you're, you're going to obtain as a result as this is the num output that we are that we have already executed in our previous videos and let's see we have a cvnd.tepasa file if we open it we'll see in the cvnd change uh, presented uh, on uh, x uh, has um, packets as a level dx has uh, time as a level in seconds like we we have named them if we want to open the thp.tepasa we are going to see the instant throughput how it's changed so we 
just a moment this is the right picture so you can see we have fed the epsilon sx uh, bytes per second set the x sx sx yes we have time in seconds so you see the um, throughput change here so that's all thank you